Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and, and in this video I'll tell you how to use the spell check feature in MS Word. Well, we would be covering the commonly occurring errors, the error, uh, the, uh, the error which occurs when you type a repeat word, when there is an unknown word, what happens when you type something in all caps or when you type something in, in when you type an alphanumeric word and yeah? then we'll see how to do those corrections all right so let's start uh well what's an error in ms word well anything that you that ms word believes uh, that has not been typed correctly or is not grammatically correct is considered as an error it's usually shown with a red zigzag line underneath now i've given an example over here e-r-o-r -O -R. i am intentionally mistyped it now see uh, ms word has recognized that this is a mistake and it has shown an red line under it so that's a common error that happens and then comes the repeat word now see uh, i have typed in what what did you say now this can be intentional this can be an error also now in such cases word ms word takes a safer side and lets you know that it is an error according to it you may choose to either correct it or keep it the way it is all right i'll tell you what to do in such cases and then comes a case wherein say uh there is a word that ms word can, can things is not correct but you know is right it can be the spelling of a name all right say let me say uh let me try to type a name which ms word will come up will show as an error but would actually be correct mm. All right, people in, I, I believe in US and other countries might be aware of this name, Raghav. It's an Indian name. It's a perfectly, perfectly right name. And MS Word considers it to be an error. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll cover how we can actually cover, correct this. And then comes the case of all caps. If something is written in uh, all capital letters, it uh, Microsoft Word would ignore that and if something is written and if the same thing is written in lower caps lower case then MS Word may consider that as an error I'm, I've given an example over here DTC I've typed it, this in uppercase it doesn't give an error but the same thing in a lower case does give an error all right now let's come to now the last thing alphanumeric now see over here itself I have typed this word alphanumeric and instead of I I have typed in one you see MS Word has actually ignored this word it's not spell checking it any word that MS Word any word that you type with numbers in it MS Word immediately ignores it for spell check all right now the cures the solutions for the problems we just discussed now for this simple problem error what we can do is if an error occurs we can simply choose the correct word do a right click and it will show you a list of correct word that excel that ms word can, thinks is the right one and you can choose the one from there see then comes the repeat issue repeat word issue well you do a right click over here either you can choose to delete repeated word or you can choose to ignore i'm choosing to ignore raghav this was an unknown word so we choose the we, we press right click and it gives suggestions and either we can do uh, ignore all or we can do add to dictionary suggestion is add it to dictionary because if you ignore it MS Word would ignore this 
uh, spelling in this document itself. But chances are that you may have to type the same word in other documents. Also in other word documents on the same computer, then it's appropriate to have add to dictionary. So I added it to dictionary. That is how ignore all and dictionary works. I hope you like this video. Until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.